okay, how to create a template in Sway for your students to be able to use. So Sway is a wonderful product. It's device agnostic, so you can use it on iPads, you can use it on computers, any kind of computer. Um, and that's what I really, really love about it. So even if you didn't get a chance to like get the app um, or don't have the ability to download the app, uh, students can still go in through Safari and use it. So I just, I love Sway. So to create a template, obviously you will create new. So you're gonna make this template. The template I would suggest um, for young Sway users, for sure. Uh, if you are crunched for time in the making of your Sway, if it's maybe the first time students are experiencing Sway, or if there's something with a lot of structure to it that you think would just make more sense as a template. So the way that you're going to create a template is you're going to insert all of the cards that need to go in order within your Sway. Uh, when making a Sway, the best way kind of to kind of teach kids I've noticed tends to be in a very linear fashion. Like that the beginning is going to be the title and then pl plus sign, the next thing will be whatever, it'll be a heading, a text box, an image, or if you press here, it, what happens and pulls up is these cards over here. Um, from beginning to end. For me, if I am doing something that I'm thinking of as an outline, it makes much more sense for me to start off more like an outline. So this is the title of my outline for my project. And let's say this was kind of like persuasive, uh, maybe ad campaign um, that my students are, are doing in conjunction with their research and media literacy. Uh, and there's three components to my ad campaign. I can just go in and put in my three headings first. And you'll notice they'll go in order. Like if I put this one here, it'd go in the middle. Um, and then within my heading, I want some kind of text box because there's going to be some kind of writing component or a rationale or something with everything we're doing. And let's say my students, um, they maybe they uh, created an advertisement or something like that or an infograph. I can take this image, I can add it here. Or maybe my students created a video or a commercial and I can put this here. And then maybe my students created something else. Maybe they created a uh, brochure and on a Word document, or maybe they made a um, something with an Excel document. If I press the if I put the embed card here, I can embed any of those things. I can embed anything really with an embed link there. Okay, so right here um, you could leave it like this and let students um, get it like this. I prefer, just because it's a little tricky on how to um, group items, I prefer to group things for kids if I can. So the way that that works is my text card. If I click it, this little arrow, this little box down here, and I press this, you'll notice it says group, and that will group them together. You actually can't group a heading with any of your items because the way that they uh, have kind of written the code. So you'll see how that lets me group, but if I were to press this, there's no group option. So you're not actually able to group those things. You're only able to group the other smaller cards together. Okay, and then we'll press group. Awesome. Okay, and in here you could obviously insert text. Like if you wanted to say something like insert, um, I don't know, if what was this, inf infograph subheading or something like that. I could do that. Um, I could talk about insert PSA title here, and then I could do something like on this last one, um, maybe this is results title. So these would be places for students to come back in and maybe they would put in that text of that results title or whatever it might be. So I can be a little bit more specific. For layout, um, there's three options. Automatically it comes up with one that is very similar to like PowerPoint where you're going to have uh, in full, you're going to see the heading, you'll see the text box and the item. Um, if you want it to look a little bit more like a website, so this is good for presentations. If you're wanting it to be a little more reader friendly and that's what you really want the kids to have, you can do it that way. Uh, it's totally up to you. Students can always go back and change this layout, but if you want to kind of set them up for success that way. So now you just need to share your sway with your students. You press the share button. Since the students are going to need to sign in anyway to, in order to save the sway, I'm going to go ahead and 
put those in your organization with a link and then do not press edit or else they're going to be able to edit your original instead press view and you can take this link and you can copy it over you can paste it into a uh, Edmodo or Google Classroom or Schoology or anything like that and then when students open it up they're gonna have the option to save so where we have all these beautiful options for editing over here what they're gonna have over in their options is they're gonna have an option to save I just don't have that option because it's mine um, but they'll be able to save and then once they saved it their own way they're gonna then be able to see these cards and they're gonna be able to go insert you know whatever their infograph setting is so that is how you make a template